in this film I'm going to show how I transfer this pattern or this drawing into a pattern. Um, I'm going to look to do it as a sort of a panto pattern. So I'm going to start from here. I'm going to end up over here. There isn't a loop there at the moment, but I'm going to put that in just so that um, if you want to, you can do this as a edge to edge pantograph rather than just putting it in a block. But before we get on to how I do this, I just need to give some basic instructions on how to do this. Uh, because when you start pattern CAD up, you get a choice of uh, four options for drawing. In fact, there's five, because when you're in line, you've got node spacing, uh, which you can turn off or on. When you're, when you're drawing a line, if you have node spacing on, you get lots of nodes, as it says. Um, I don't like doing it that way. I like to have line node spacing off so that I get a line without any nodes. Um, let me get rid of those. Also, the very important thing to remember is that when when you're drawing in here, it's like doing a dot to dot. Let me draw in, just show you what I mean. This is a dot to dot picture I got off, off the internet. Um, all, of, all of the pictures are made up of straight lines. So here we go, A to B, B to C, C to D, etc. Now, what, now what, what you see I'm doing here is I'm clicking and I'm dragging to get my line. If I put a continuous line on, I just need to click at the end of my end point. E, F, G, H, I, J, and then back to the beginning. So see, dot to dot, and we've now got a star. Uh, using continuous line, you just keep going where you are. So I'm going to click on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, back to 1. So we've got a star and a heart. Just so any pattern made with pattern CAD is like doing dot to dots. That's very important for when we start looking at how the how we're going to do the main pattern. So let me get rid of that. Clear pattern. I'm going to load in a new background now. I'm going to load in the pattern that I want. I'm still going to remain on continuous lines and I'm going to be on line. Now this is going to look weird to start with, but it will make sense if you remember the dot to dot. So this is, where this is my start position and my first line is going to be here. There's, there's a dot. Um, I'm just looking for breaks. So my first line I'm going to draw in by clicking and dragging. Once my first line is in, because I've got continuous line clicked, I just have to click on the end point that I want. So I'm going to click there. And then I'm going to click back because I'm tracing back. I'm going to click there because that's the point. Then I'm going to click there because that's the point. I'm going to click back to there. Then I'm going to click there. And I'm going to click there. I'm going to click there. I'm just looking for points where patterns will will we'll meet. So there's a point there, there's a point there. If you're not having a pattern with a lot of stitch back, you can edit uh, as you as you go. You could you can put the curves in as as you're going by pressing uh, the space bar. The space bar helps uh, let me do it now. See, if I press the space bar, you'll see it's gone to edit. And it's just editing the last point I put in. If I press space again, it's gone back to draw. Space, done. 
I don't use that technique when I'm got lots of stitch back and I'll explain that in a minute this will get interesting there's a point there's a point there's a point Now I've got to come all the way back down the line. Okay. I'm just going to look at, at, at this bit now and then we'll I'll pause it while I finish off the rest and then we'll we'll restart once I've I've got it all finished, but if we're looking optimised now. We'll see a pattern which we get uh, all straight lines and, and jaggedy bits. So I'll come out of there. What we need to do now is go into edit. And where we've ended up with a double point, so two lines going to the same point, we need to draw around it, because we're in the edit, and snap those points together. So as I come down, I've got to do it for each one individually. The reason I don't put the curves in as I go is because of this this double line. If I was to do to do that, um, I would get visible um, overstitching because the lines wouldn't be exactly on top of one another. Where here, because of the way I'm doing it, I can edit both lines at the same time so that they stitch over. So now, if you go back into edit. We've still got straight lines, but you see, we haven't got any of those double ones. Now comes the, the magic trick. And if we select all, at the moment, we're a li our line type is line. Let's go back to draw. It's line. What we really want it is to be spline. Well, in truth, what I really want it is to be arc but um, because we have got lovely arcs here but because of a, a bug in the optimize uh, part of this of the program it, arc doesn't it doesn't like arc so I'm going to use spline so we'll go back into edit select all again and if I right click on here I can change the line type I can change them to spline you see what happens now? We get loads of handles, which we can then use to, to pull the pattern out. I'm going to zoom in a bit. And I'm going to unselect all. So. so this is where we started. So I'm going to highlight that one and highlight that one. And then I need to highlight both of those. And then if I pull it out, you see we get the curve. I'll turn that one off and I'll turn that one on. Oops, hang on. Don't need it on this time because I want one line to come out this way. Okay. And then I need this one to come out. This is the one that I need. See, I, where I pulled that out, if I was just sort of temporarily move it back, that's no good. I need to backspace it. And so now they're both identical. And then I can pull this. Oops. That's... I did that one wrong because I've got that line, line there. Let's come all the way back. 
that one I do want to be doubled. See, it gets very confusing. Unhook that one. Okay. Whoops. So I can hook that one and hook that one on. Now I can highlight those. I don't want that square. Then pull that out. Do this one. Not one. Let's just keep going with with this until. Oops. Didn't want to separate that. Could then move that, move that dot over, but uh, I'm not too fussed at, at this point because the pattern's only in indicative of what we what we want. We just want to be be close because it it'll, it'll look lovely. Okay, so now I f now I feel like I can optimize. See, we've got these beautiful curves. Still got that bit to do, but I'm going to stop this now because we don't want to watch me doing this. And I'm going to restart it when I get to the other end because this is a, you've seen how how we do it. So let me just pause this and I'll restart it at the end. Okay, that took a little bit longer than I thought because, and it wouldn't have happened if I wasn't doing the recording, but um, when you change the line type, um, oh, bear with, bear with, sorry, phone call got in the way there. What I was saying was um, when I changed the line type uh, on the other half, which I, which I was doing, this 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 one all, all changed as well so if you do it put all of your your lines in and then change it to splines and then do it you'll end up with this so that's what we get the only trick now that i'll show let me get rid of the background because then we'll see so the background's gone we've now got that but because we're trying to do an a pento pattern edge to edge, we've got that. There's a there's another sneaky tool in here. We've got tools. Endpoint connectivity. Which will show us how how the it puts mirrors in so we can see how the how the joins are. Uh, and if we zoom in. This gives us a chance to, to move them to, to join up. So if we so I'm in edit, still in edit. I highlight that. And if I move that up a tiny bit, that now joins up. Let me use the move tool over here because we're on tiny. I'm just watching down watching down here while I'm changing the the pattern. And we'll see what happens. Change that to small. It's gone away. Now we get back. Change that to tiny and move it back again. Okay, that's that one. 
I need to change that one now. So I'm changing that one and I'm looking over here. And that's a good join. Then up here, let's so zoom in. I'll turn the nodes off so I can see the line better. I want to just move that down a tiny bit. Yay! So there's that one. And the highlight that. This one's still a little a little out. Um just highlight that and turn the node off. I can say that's a good one. So they can look look like that when it's put in the panto. I'm gonna clear the edit clear the mirrors and then I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna put it in here and I'm going to call it um Save. Just gonna check that it did save by seeing if I can load it, and there we go. Well, I hope that's helped and given you some idea to go away and play. And thank you for watching.